make leverage, okay? So, so we're going to be using this near side lapel near my head, okay? So I'm going to be protecting my arm, right? I don't want to leave it dangling out here for him to grab or anything like that. So I'm going to untuck his gi, all right? I'm going to bunch it up like a rope, all right? So this is kind of one that does really, like, if you're flexible, it's definitely going to help you out, all right? If not, we're going to kind of cheat a little bit and use our shin, all right? So, yeah, his gi is pretty tight. So if I need to start, I, my, the, my real problem right here is the shoulder in my back, right? This cross face. So this is going to help me start addressing this problem with the strongest muscles I have to get, get this off my neck, all right? So I'm going to pull his lapel up. I'm going to bring my knee through, and then I'm going to take my foot to the mat. See how it pulls the shoulder away from my face? Keeping it tight. So now as soon as I, as soon as, even if he's still holding on right here, as soon as I can, I'm going to pummel in and get my, that grip on his bicep, all right? I'm going to keep taking him over. Setting up, all right? If his gi was looking maybe try let me try to get my foot in there. The real goal is to try to get your foot inside your the lapel and your knee inside his uh inside your arm, okay? So him, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to get on my side a little bit more to get my foot in there. Right? My foot in. Right here. Oh man. My knee on the inside. Alright. So if you guys remember John, he was really good at this one, right? Yeah. So once it, my foot's on the inside, I'm gonna stomp it to the mat. And then sit up. All right, doing it with your knees, like that shin, it's, it's good. I think that's all I have to do. I'm going to get my leg up. Yeah, I'm having a like, hard time doing it with his lapel. I'm barely decent at being able to do this when I need to. So when you guys get this, pull out as much as you can. Get your knee through and bring it to the mat. All right, yeah, his, it's so tight. That's, an, that's almost the same as my foot. Right. But if you guys need more power, it's that foot in there is going to be a lot stronger, right? <laughs> Your hips up. So I'm just turning my feet out. And coming up. What are you doing when somebody does this to you? Is there any defense against it? Try to turn back in, like just stay facing into him. Because if you turn your back to him, the next thing we're going to do is get us up a crucifix. Yeah. All right, do you need to see it? No. Well, maybe just one more time. It might be because I like it in the way. Because you guys are able to, though. It will get out to your side. Can you put it in? All right, once that knee's through. So I'm just going to try to keep pressure on you to avoid. Yeah, try to keep turning into me. And then eventually maybe you let it go or something? Yeah, I mean, really, you're, you're kind of done right here. Yeah, because try, try to get your cross face back. Yeah, and then, yep. and then if you reach back, you try to turn that way, yeah, you're going to trap your arm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Alright, any questions? Alright, one, two. Alright, so the next one we're going to do is we're going to pass the lapel behind my leg. Then we're going to pause for a second and see if we can set up the crucifix. So same thing, I'm pulling this lapel up. This time I'm going to keep it with my right hand, shoot my left hand up, go behind my knee. Alright, this is one Jordan will do a lot. Same thing, so once I get here, I'm going to stop my foot to the ground. I'm going to just sit here and stare at him for like one or two seconds, right? If he doesn't do anything, I'm going to same thing. I'm going to shrimp out and come up, all right? I don't, have, I don't have to push on him. Like, even me pushing on him right now, there's nowhere for him. He's on me, right? So I he's, feel how you're on my hips. Once my hips aren't there, he's gone, all right? You're kind of going to your elbow. That might help me. Yeah, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I want you guys to think about getting here. Pause for a second. Wait two, two or three seconds. He's trying to drive into me. He's not getting in. So a lot of times you can bait guys. He'll want to turn the other way. Once he does, catch, catch. So you kind of got an arm bar kind of deal here, but I want you to look for the truth. That's the arm bar. There is one workout where we just All right. Crucifix. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to tell him. I'm going to keep it with my right hand. All right. I'm going to pass it over during my leg. All right. I want to choke my left, my left thumb up as tight to my thigh as I can. Stomp to the ground. Bring him off this bicep. Wait a second or two. Wait for him to turn. He reaches back. Catch. Arm drag. Keep this arm. If you have to, reach down past the collar all, but you gotta keep your arm in between, all right? Because if I let go of this arm, he's just gonna keep turning to his left. Yep, and he's gonna go. All right? Keep this arm through. Shrimp, shrimp. All right. Oh. So 
Yeah, guys, what the? Can't, I can't get in here. Get my pillow defense going. Get this cross wrist on. I'm gonna lift, pull this up. Lift my leg up. Pass our knee. It's coming to the green. He reaches back. Right from here. Arm drag. Grab your head. Shrimp. Shrimp. So make sure you're keeping your body real tight for the back of his head, right? This is the defense. If this is loose, is a sit. Reach your heels up. Now sink your butt down. Yep. Drop your head in there. Sit like you're going to go flat. Yep. Once he's there, he's out. Alright. Any questions? Alright, one, two.